morning and welcome to the 29th of November. It is my son's birthday, grand old age of 25. So, it is Thursday and I'm ready to go to the gym. As you can see, there we go. I was trying things on again. So, the dress is still here. Still not 100% sure about it. But I'm gearing to, I think I'm going to keep it. I also ordered a couple of things from Karen Millen. I ordered this leather skirt which I'm going to keep which I'm going to keep because it's very much my style. I also ordered this sequined body but I'm not keeping that. That's definitely going back um from Karen Millen. That's a definite going back. That's a definite keep. And this I'm not sure about yet because it's very different to my style but then I need something different in my wardrobe and I think it would be perfect for the lunch. So look, this is what's going on in my room. So I'm off to do combat this morning. I'll probably have time to do a wee bit in the gym because I'm not doing the nine o'clock class because that was the class I was told I wasn't allowed in because I was late last week so I'm not going. I've also got a really bad back and I've really had a bit of a bad morning this morning apparently my mum's getting harder to move so it was a different carer that was in this morning it was one usual carer and one different carer and she was talking about having my mum reassessed by the company and maybe just keeping her in her bed which I'm not happy about at all um I'm not happy about it at all so I feel once she's stuck in the bed, that's it, it's finished, I'm not happy. So, and I think what happens is when you do get different carers coming in and they're not quite used to um, the situation, then they think it's really bad. But when you're coming in every day, I don't know, I'm, I'm truthfully really, really upset with it this morning. And I did say to them, and I said to them, if you feel it's so difficult, use the hoist then when you come in at lunchtime. Because honestly, I know what it's like to use that hoist. It's hell for my mum, and it's abs it's hell trying to get her into it as well. So, you know, you wanna go down that road, go down that road. She's not getting left in her bed all day and all night, that's for sure, because she's just going to vegetate away. So, um, it's not happening. So, you know, I'll get her up myself, it's as simple as that. So, I mean, I'm managing to bath her, which, you know, is a lot harder than anything else that's happening. So, you can tell I'm quite upset this morning, so I'm ranting. Right, I'm gonna go off to the gym and chill and get it out my system. Good morning and welcome to the 30th of November. It's St Andrew's Day and in Cyprus and in Greece, um, when it's, uh, it's St. Days are, oh, that's all right. St. Days are really celebrated, so it's called a name day. So my, I'm named after, the saint I'm named after is St. Andrew. So it's actually my name day today. And it's celebrated as much as birthdays. But yeah, apart from that, I did, I stopped, I didn't vlog the rest of the day yesterday because um, I was really quite upset. I did a few Insta stories. Remember, if you're not following me, to follow me on my Instagram. So yeah, I just, I kind of ranted on my Instagram stories yesterday. So I really didn't have a good day with the carers. So it was one of my usual carers that comes in and one that was covering for the other carer that was off and we just didn't see eye to eye we just basically had to agree to disagree what actually happened was i phoned the company and said i didn't want her back whatever the issues are her and i are not going to see eye to eye and i just don't want her back in my house because sometimes you have to use common sense over rules and regulations and I'm not gonna I don't want somebody standing in my house telling me what they are allowed to do and what they are not allowed to do go away right you know everybody's needs are different so you know you know rules are 
for carers if somebody looks as if they're gonna fall you have to let them fall come on if I saw somebody in the street falling I'm gonna I'm gonna help them I'm not gonna let them go down you know humanity common sense where has that gone these days rules and regulations are made to be broken sometimes <laughs> anyway I just I, I, I it just she wasn't gonna see she, she just wasn't gonna see my way of thinking so just don't want her back and that makes life a lot easier apparently this morning my mom is walking quite happily when we say walking quite happily you know what I mean but apparently she's better this morning sometimes you know it just needs one carer to encourage another but enough said about that situation because it took up most of my day yesterday uh, I was really quite upset yesterday um, so she's not coming back and that's good because um, yeah so today is Friday and we have Georgie today she's actually downstairs with her bapo but I'll let you I'll go and check my mum first then we'll go downstairs and see I can smell egg and toast go mamas having a wee nap cuddled up to her dolly so yeah that's the situation we're in let's go and see Georgie gorgeous and you're very very good <laughs> hey <laughs> what you do you eat what's that you're eating what are you eating Georgie cheese cheese did Bapu give you the cheese yeah. What else are you going to have? Yeah. Are you going to have toast and egg? Mm. Say good morning. Good, morning. good girl. But Pot is making breakfast and I'm going to zoom around the house while Georgie is being entertained with the hoover. I'm going to get as much done while Shriko is here to entertain Georgie. Um, yeah, so it's a new day. 1st of December already tomorrow. Can you believe it? I open up my advent calendar tomorrow. Mm. So I've got a Christmas night out. Not Christmas night. A Christmas. I've got my Christmas lunch with the gym girls next Sunday. So I need to get my nail varnish out the calendar this week. Um, my mascara because I actually have no... Dior mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal one just now. That's what I have on today. And I've just got some Chanel lip gloss on. Yeah, that's it. So I need I need to get out the nail varnish, the mascara, the Mac maximizer because these are all the things I'm going to need for next Sunday. Um, and then whatever I fancy because they're the priority things that I desperately need. I haven't really added anything else. So I need to add a few more things. Uh, what I really want to add, so this is like a wish list in the calendar. I want to add the wireless, cordless, whatever they are, earpods, and I want to add the Chanel Limited Edition number five, and I think that's it. Can see the fish. So we came to buy Georgie a fish, but we're not allowed to buy one apparently unless we have a whole fish tank set up. <coughs> so we're going to leave disappointed, aren't we Georgie? Hello and welcome to the 1st of December. Let's hope it's a good one. So last night we were out. This is not last night's makeup. This is this morning's makeup. I've still got my jammies on because um, I'm going to get dressed now. But I'm in the middle of cleaning the bathroom because I've just bathed my mum. I thought I'd get some makeup on before turning the camera on for a change because I always look so rubbish. Even, you know, makeup, jammies. So I bathed my mum this morning, so that job's done. I didn't go to the gym for a few reasons. One, I've got lots of bits and pieces to do. Um, one being I need to get... 
need to get this <laughs> room sorted out so this is all things that are gonna go back i've decided this is gonna go back i tried this on countless of times and it actually does have a hook up here as well because when i did it on my insta stories i was holding it um i just think it's gonna be hard to wait and i don't want something to sit in my wardrobe and um just sit there i've got too many dresses that just sit there and are kind of for special occasions and because it's got this kind of lurexy sparkle through it i think it's going to make it difficult to wear i went for this style because it's totally different to my normal style but um you know for a hundred i think i ended up paying 180 odd pounds for it i think the original price was 225 pounds i'm not i don't want you know i'm not gonna keep that i got this kind of off the shoulder top last night from next which i do like um but i need to take it back because they only had um a size 12 and it's too big for me i thought i would get away with a size 12 because i'm quite broad shouldered um but it kind of loosens down at my um, waist i've got quite a small waist in comparison to my big hips and big everything else also picked this dress up from next so i'm just going to wear this to the lunch and you know it's the usual kind of fitted type and i think this looks really grannyish sitting there <laughs> keep saying that keep i am a gran stop saying that um so but I like it on and it'll be easy to wear. I don't have to think about shoes and things and it's just easy. I'm um, thinking I'm going to wear my little red Christmas choker with it. My red boy bag and those shoes to jazz it up. That'll be for the Christmas lunch next week. So that's, and that was only about £55, you know, and it'll be a lot easier to wear. So this is all to get organised to be sent back and that's going to get done this morning hoping to do a tag video today as well and uh, my sunny flow is broken in my ensuite so when we, i was quite late in leaving last night did i say we were going to go out i can't remember so we were out last night yeah, i did say that's how i started off we were out last night uh, but i didn't have time to do outfits and things like that because the plumber was in so i kind of missed the boat in next when i picked up those things so i was late by the time i got back and um had to really get ready what i put on was my michael Kors dress that i bought last year with the fluted sleeves and again this is a dress that you can wear anywhere basically so as soon as kind of the colder months come in this comes out it's a don't have to think about it dress just throw it on so originally i was going to wear it with my uh, christian Louboutins, but my back was killing me and i was going to log in around like this you know when your mum was like nah i'm just going to put my stuart weitzman boots on with it and that's what i like about that anything goes with it and i just had my chanel brooch but i, I kind of wore it like that last year so um you know you have you will have seen it so right i'm gonna go and clean the bathroom and then get dressed oh i actually got that's what i'm gonna wear today actually 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 i got I picked up a jumper from next I've got it here i'm gonna wear that today actually ah, stop saying actually andre so i got this jumper which absolutely love so i'm gonna wear that today with i don't know maybe a skirt or leather trousers or something but yeah slightly cropped not too cropped just perfect really really liked that got that in a size small it's quite loose fitting and it was uh, 32 pounds so yeah really like that actually really like it I had to stop myself from getting it in different colors they had an orange color as well and i went no 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 that's what my granddaughter says no 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 <laughs> right back to um job in hand i need to open up my advent calendar yay and i'm gonna pick up pick out all the things that i'm gonna need first of all let's get the advent calendar out i'm gonna go for things that i'm gonna need because i'm going out next um sunday for the christmas lunch so i need i desperately need a uh, my maximizer so it's probably going to be all the makeup where is it there we go 
I'm going to get my MAC maximizer out so that's the first thing for the 1st of December and then I'm going to get things that I'm going to need like my Dior show, my lipstick, my nail varnish, my makeup, I think I'm going to do all the makeup first. So 1st of December is MAC maximizer. There we go. Quick outfit before we go, I have my teddy coat on from Primark. I'm off to take my top back to next, hopefully I can get a smaller size. Pochette Metis, bits from Zara, and jumper from next, which I got yesterday, which I can't show you now, because I'm not taking everything off. And I'm gonna go and look at a carpet for here to replace this one. We are back from next. I forgot to show you actually, when I was in next yesterday, I bought a wine rack, which looks pretty perfect that we were shopping, so there's things everywhere. And yeah, so I got that wine rack, which just fits in perfectly under there. I managed to get my uh, rug as well. So here it is for the haul. Uh, so that was from Nex. I'm kind of panicking because she has a tendency to pee on anything that's new. And she sat herself on it straight away. Anyway, so this was from Next uh, for £120. Absolutely love it. Now, do you know what time it is? Do you? It's not wine time. It's coffee time. Coffee and chocolate. Where's my chocolate? I started eating it. Did I eat that already? You must have ate it already. Bit of dairy milk caramel. Mm. Right. Husband's having chili con carne. Leftover dinner. Nico, what wine are you having? Nico, I just came into the kitchen and Nico was reading on his wine having a bottle of Chablis. It's your favourite. Chardonnay, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolute favourite. Is it good? The wine rack has wines in it now, plenty of them. Got some in the fridge as well, cooling but this is our supply. Here's mine right here. My cake stand is empty because I've even baked a cake. It's in the oven there and I love the smell of baking in my house. So um, yeah, we've got chops ready for dinner and a salad all cut and then we'll probably have some hummus and animal salata as well. So a productive um, Saturday. Lulu's enjoying my new rug right there. Love it. Yep. So I've now decided I'm going to get a new one for the playroom. Rico actually put the one from the hall into the playroom, which is where it was originally, but that rug is done. So as soon as I get one for the um, playroom, I'll definitely bin that one. We believe in getting good use out of everything. Now it's time to open this advent calendar. There you go, Rico. Is that for me? Yeah. Do I have to find number one? Why do I have to find number one? Because today's the 1st of December. Stop acting the wise guy and just open it. Let's start with the 25th. What is it? What is it? It's a chocolate. Shabli and advent calendar. Here we go. Lulu, Lily, come and open your advent calendars. Yummy, yummy. That nice, girls? Is that yummy? Thank you. 
Hey, mommy, I'll come and say hi. Come, come and see me. A picture cake. Hi. I'm in the kitchen. How are you, son? I'm good. How are you? Ooh. How come you came over? I was coming. Came to see his mummy. What about it? Luke came home just to pick up his um. Oh my God! <laughs> it's a it's a Reese's advent calendar. This is a big surprise. Why are you acting like that? You were <laughs> very chuffed when I told you I got you that calendar. Wow, can you not tell I'm smiling and everything? Lily, do you want that chocolate? Not She's had hers. I'm not a fan of those. What are these? So Luke has another parcel here. This is his uh, Christmas and birthday present combined. So he needs to try this on. So um, yeah, unboxing time. So we have the Christmas packaging with the red ribbon. Here we go, like carry on. Oh. There was no message. <laughs> Blank. That's sick. They never that. actually gave me the option because I ordered it or, like, like over the phone. Because you're probably supposed to take it out of that box, write your message. All oh, right. Well, I'll do that for you, ready for Christmas, ah. if they're the right size. Yeah, we open it at Christmas then. Right. Okay. So, so when you open it, just slide them off. Did they have a receipt? I don't think they would. I, I don't know. Yeah, they sent me an email of the receipt. I said receipt and stuff. Mm, Does it way you want me to do this ribbon without untying it? Is there a. Oh, yeah, you just way. slide it off. Doesn't matter, just untie it. No, you're pulling it tighter, look. Is that spell laces? Spell laces, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Separate bag for each one. Very nice. Lovely, aren't they? they look big. Oh, they the big. They look quite small to me. It will. Let's see if they're true to size. The leather, so it'll be quite tight at first anyway. Until the, the leather softens. Here's the sizing. really nice anyway, but how's the size? Size is about right. Great. Because that's not tightened at all and there's not that much slip on them. And it's leather. So they're true to, so you'd say they're true to size? They're true to size, yeah. Because once the leather softens on them, they'll expand out a bit more anyway. How do they feel? Why are you saying that? Do they feel tight? Well, they should feel no, tight as well. They should feel tight as They're actually a lot nicer than I thought. They're really nice. Aren't they? 
So they match your belt now? Yes. Yay! There we go. And you got your uh, <laughs> all matchy matchy. There we go. Cracking. Where's, where's number one? Can you see it? Can you see number one? Let's, let's one. Shush. Oh, mommy, help. Oh, oh, what's behind the door? What's behind the door? Oh, chocolate. Do you want it? Thank you. Yay! Bye bye. I'm going to mash it up. You could have them on after the fact to get down. I see, Mum, get your book. I can't use tree. Yes, I can't use tree. What's that in your hand? I'm going to look at you. I'm going to look at you. Thank you.